What if I told you that you could build a complete professional website powered by AI without writing a single line of code? In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that using Ready AI, one of the most advanced AI web design tools out there. We're going to create a dark, futuristic SaaS landing page with animations, 3D visuals, and even an intelligent chatbot that books services, all generated automatically by AI. So if you've ever dreamed of designing websites faster, smarter, and way more creatively, this is the tutorial you've been waiting for. Let's dive right in and start building with Ready AI. So guys, this is Ready's website. The first thing that you're going to do is open the first link in the description box of this video, which will take you straight here. Then go ahead and create your account. After creating your account and logging in, you should see this page where you can go ahead and start your very first project on Ready AI. Right here, you can choose whether you want to create a web or a mobile app. So go ahead and pick the one you want. Then from this version drop down, we can select the framework we want to build our app with. We could go with React Recommended, Next.js, HTML, View, View, Ant Design, View Element, View 2, React, Ant Design, React, Shad CN, or UniApp. For this project, I'll go with React. Next, we need to choose a name for our project. In this video, I'm going to create a futuristic SaaS landing page for a digital agency specializing in web design. So let's name it Nova Automation and then click the Create button. Great, now on this page, all we should do is describe our project, what features and sections this app should include. As you can see, we have a text prompt right at the center. You can either type it in or use the microphone option at the bottom right to speak your description. And let's say you've seen a website somewhere that you really like and want to create something similar. You can take a screenshot of that website and upload it here as a reference. By combining that image with a detailed written description, you'll get the closest possible result to what you have in mind. Now to create my Nova Automation project, I've prepared a fully detailed prompt, and I actually used ChatGPT to help write it. You can do the same for any website idea you have. Just open ChatGPT and explain your website idea, what the site is about, what it should do, and who it's for. Then ask something like, what kind of features and sections are necessary for this website? At the end, tell ChatGPT that you plan to use an AI-powered website builder tool to create this project, and you need a fully detailed prompt to achieve the best result. This way, you can quickly get a complete and well-structured prompt for any project idea in your head. But in my case, this prompt has something additional, a 3D model embed code that I've added from Spline. Don't worry. I'll show you exactly how to do this in a super simple way. So here's the prompt I'm using. Create a dark, futuristic SaaS landing page for Nova Automation, a digital agency specializing in web design, AI chatbots, and workflow automation. Use a pure black background with glowing spotlight effects and gradient accents in light aqua, dark green, and mint white, cinematic style, clean sans serif typography, and a fully responsive layout. And this green iframe code that you see that's the embed code that will bring the 3D model to our website. For the 3D model, we'll be using the Spline library. Just go to spline.design, create a free account, and once you're in, navigate to the left panel and select Community. Here, you can find tons of different 3D models created by other users. You can go ahead and pick one you like, remix it, customize it, and use it in your own projects. For this project, I've customized a 3D cube model that I'm going to use. I'll leave the link to this model down below in the description box so you can use it too. Once you open the link, you'll see this page. From here, go ahead and select the Remix option. It will open the model inside the Spline Editor tool. Once the page loads, select the Export button from the top right side of the panel. Then wait for a few seconds for the embed code to be ready. When it's ready, go ahead and copy the code. This is exactly the iframe code that I've pasted inside the prompt and it's the one that brings the 3D model to our website. So finally, once your prompt is ready, go ahead and copy it, then head back to Ready AI. Here, let's paste the prompt inside the input box and hit the send button. Now the AI gets to work. It analyzes your prompt and starts generating a complete layout and structure based on your description. It will also show you a full generation plan where you can review everything, Make changes, remove or add any sections you want before finalizing. 
Once you're happy with the layout, go ahead and click Generate. And that's it. Ready will handle the rest for you, from the code to the design and structure of your website. This whole process usually takes about a minute. And there we go. Here is our hero section and our 3D model, but there are some adjustments that we need to apply to make it better. Let's take a look at the rest of the sections. Here's our about section, and as we scroll down, different elements appear with a nice and smooth animation. This is our services section. Next, we have the project section. We've got some really nice hover effects on each of these cards. Then we have the testimonial section, and finally the contact section with a clean and modern footer. Great. Everything looks polished and well-structured, except for our 3D model. I should make some changes to the hero section as well as add a header to our website. So first, let's add the header. For that, I'll input a prompt that says, also add a fixed header with a transparent black background, logo left, links right, and a soft glow border. Animate with fade down on load and opacity change on scroll. That's it. Now let's hit the send button and wait for a few seconds. And it's done generating. This is exactly the header I wanted to have for this website. Next, let's fix our 3D model. As you can see, it looks like our 3D element is inside a container box that's causing a slight blur effect, covering part of our model. To fix that, we'll use the selector option. Using this tool, you can easily target any section or individual element you want and then describe the changes you'd like to make. And as you can see, we can now select our target, which in this case is the container element holding our 3D model. Once selected, I go ahead and say, make sure the 3D model is not inside a container element. Set it to position, absolute, scale 1.1, and ensure it's sharp, visible, and right aligned in the hero section. Then hit send again. And there we have it. Now it looks absolutely perfect. If you want to take a look at the project in full screen, you can select this link icon. It will open the website in a new page. And it's not just for, for previewing the page. This is a real live app right now. That means you can share its URL with your friends, clients, or teammates, and they can open it to take a look at, at the website you just created with Ratty AI. This is a pretty nice option. Another amazing and kind of unique feature that Ready AI has is the ability to add and create different pages and layouts for your project as simple as just a few clicks. For example, let's scroll down to the projects section. Here, let's click on one of these project cards. As you can see, an option pops up that says continue to generate. Click on this and then a text will appear on the right panel that says, I will continue to create this interaction. Just say okay to confirm or tell me if you need any specific features. So basically, um, this means you can go ahead and specify what should happen when a user clicks one of these elements. It could be anything from opening a new page with full details about this project to navigating to its live website or any custom action you want. For now, I'll just go ahead and say, okay, to see what happens. And there it goes, it gets to work. Now it's done generating, so let's test it out. And there we go. When a user clicks on one of these project cards, uh, it now opens wider like this, making it easier to read the project details. Looks nice, clean, simple, and super functional. Now let's try this feature once more, but this time specify what we want to make. This time, in the services section, let's click on one of these service cards and select the continue to generate option. You'll see the same text appear again, but this time, instead of entering OK, I'm going to specify what should happen once the user clicks on one of these service cards. So I'll say create a dedicated page for each service and ensure that when a user selects a service, they are smoothly navigated to its corresponding page with proper routing and consistent design styling. That's it. Now let's select the send button. And it's done generating. Let's check out the result. Let's click on one of these service cards. And there we go. It opens a separate page displaying full details of the service. Great. Now before diving into one of the most important and powerful features, which is Ready's AI-powered online agent, let's take a quick look at some other tools we have here at the top of the preview page. Here we have the code option. If I click it, it will download the full source code of the project. This feature is available for upgraded accounts. 
Another really useful feature is that you can import your design directly into Figma. Great, now it's time to move on to the most important part of today's video. The feature that helps entrepreneurs and business owners save time, scale their operations, attract more clients, and boost their revenue by automating key tasks using Ready's AI-powered online agent. Now to bring that smart agent to our app, let's select the integration tab at the top and click on the last option. Then it will automatically start the process of adding it to our website. And that's it. Now Ready Agent is all set, built from your site and ready to chat or even make calls. So let's say hi to see how it responds. As you can see, it introduces itself as Nova Automation, which is the name of our app. That means Ready automatically generates a default knowledge base from your website's content and setup, which is really smart and also fully customizable. If you go to the Ready Agent settings, you can see this global prompt and the description inside this input box is basically your knowledge base. You can edit or change this prompt anytime you want. Below this box, we have a few more options like, like changing the language of your agent. You can also add FAQs to help your AI answer faster and more accurately. So let's add a few FAQs. And that's it. Now, right below, we have this toggle button that lets us turn on or off new appointment email notifications that you receive. All right, let's test this out. Let's head back here, and this time let's use the microphone and try booking a service. This is Nova Automation. I'm your scheduling assistant calling about the request you submitted on our website. Is now a good time to talk? Great. Now let's say, hi, what kind of services do you offer? We specialize in custom web design, AI chatbot integration, workflow automation, AI-powered solutions, digital strategy consulting, e-commerce automation, healthcare workflow systems, and fintech solutions. Is there a specific service you're interested in? Can you help me automate my website? Absolutely. We can integrate AI workflows to handle customer support, scheduling, and data collection for your website. Would you like to book a free strategy call to discuss your project? Yes. Great, what date and time would work best for your strategy call? As you can see, it feels like a real world agent that's actually talking to you. Really smart. Now it asks for an example date. Next, it wants to know what type of service I wanna book. Let's go with a service for website automation. Then it asks for some personal info, like name and phone number. And at the end, we just confirm with a simple yes. And that's it. Now it goes ahead and says, your requested time is available. I will go ahead and book your website automation service for that time. And just like that, our service is booked. Now, since I turned on the appointment notification earlier, I should have received an email. And yes, here it is. An email from Ready saying, you've got a new appointment. Now, if we head back to Ready AI and go to Agent Settings, then open the Appointments panel, we can see the exact service that we just booked along with all the details. From here, you can also set your availability times just the way you want. Next, let's take a quick look at the leads panel. Leads are automatically generated from visitors who chat or speak with your ready agent. It's a great way to track potential clients and new opportunities. And finally, once your website is ready, you can go ahead and publish it on your own custom domain, making it live and ready for the world to see. And that's a wrap. Our AI powered website is live and looking amazing. Now it's your turn. Go ahead and try ready AI yourself. The link's waiting for you down in the description box. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and check out the links below for all the resources I mentioned. Thanks for tuning in, stay creative, keep building, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.